Do you know what Twitch is? Do you know how hard it actually is to make any money on Twitch? You have to have thousands of followers. You're going to want to stick around and watch this episode and hear about this coin because, uh, yeah. Or don't. It's whatever. But do. But you should. But do it. Stick around. You stick around. I know you're going to stick around. You, you know you want to see it. We're going to look at Exceed Me. Long story short, uh, we're just looking here. We can just read this. Powered by NFTs and DeFi, enabling all gamers to make money off their skill. Uh, and the important part for DGen DeFi people here is it's built on Polkadot. So it is going to be built for the actual future. Things will need to be scaled up to insane amounts of transactions, especially for any sort of major gaming platform like this, where we would be seeing thousands, millions, trillions, billions of uh, transactions every second. A lot, I wanna say a lot. So just looking at the real quick bullet points here, right? You earn by winning. You, the, the, it's basically a token system, gaming platform system that would give you tokens for everything involved in using that gaming platform. Even if you just play any sort of game, lose the game, you would still get uh, tokens for that participation. If, obviously, you if you won, if you won a big tournament, you're going to get many, many more of those tokens. And just like any good DeFi system these days, you're going to be able to stake those tokens. You're going to be able to have some NFTs and earn more rewards from staking those NFTs, staking those tokens. Not to be confused with uh, Exceed Me. There's no there's no C in there. I, I got a little confused, right? This is this is not that. Uh, exceed me with no C. So the idea would basically be to play your games, do your games, watch the games, uh, and for every single part of that, you will be getting paid in exed, exed, exed. I don't know how they want you to say it. Exed. Game gamers will exed. Devs will exed. Exed will exed. I guess they're hoping for X's when uh, when this token comes out. And it's true. Uh, you, it's a very small percentage of people that actually do earn any money playing uh, video games. Just the pros playing tournaments. Those people earn a ton of money. And also, just like any of these major economies, it is predatory. They do come after the people that are earning money, support them more, try to take more of their revenue streams for themselves. Exceed is trying to solve some of these issues by making the economy a little more supportive of the people that are actually playing the games. This this token's gonna make it possible for everybody involved in the economy to actually earn a little bit of money, depending on your engagement. It's a little unclear from this white paper exactly what the platform will look like because they're talking about creating matchmaking, creating an a, economy, a place to trade, buy and sell these NFTs. Also a place to stake the tokens, a blockchain powered tournament platform allowing gamers at all skill levels, developers and organizers to monetize their skills. So yeah, I guess that is the point. You don't have to just be a streamer. You you can also be a developer. You can be an organizer and everybody's going to get kst, kst. They're going to get in their, in their wallets. And I guess the point is, even if you're losing, even if you're bad at this game, you're still gonna win because you're still gonna get uh, at least a little bit of tokens, a little bit of kst for your pocket. And that will encourage you to keep playing because I know as, as a person that has played games, it can be very demoralizing to lose. And they talk about the future of gaming and uh, money, I guess, in general. I mean, this is how a lot of things work these days, right? You monetize the people that are doing the best and uh, do that through ads and in-app purchases. And, and everybody that's watching or even barely paying attention is being shown ads and uh, being offered these in-app purchases. And that's how everybody's making their money. Exceed Me is suggesting a better world in which uh, blockchain allows for skill monetization through currencies and digital assets with open market dynamics, superior sense of ownership and control. A lot of buzzwords. One in four people in the world is a gamer. There are a lot of gamers out there and that the gaming economy is already bigger than music and movie industries. This token is going to be used to do all these different aspects of right game mining access give you access to tournaments uh, help out with organizers you can also stake it earn more of it get more nfts stake those nfts right all, all this sort of typical stuff that we're familiar with in DeFi land 
we see uh, on the on the Twitter they got some decent amount of followers. There is something there, right? That that you would be able to really truly truly spread around the money that's being made to everybody that's involved not just the players at the top but maybe the players in the middle maybe the players at the bottom third and also just the spectators and also the developers and also the organizers and the no another interesting thing i found was that moonrock capital is investing in them and if we just sort of scroll scroll up through what moonrock has invested in right mantra dow we got Fuse, some of these are a little less known, but we got Ramp DeFi, another thing we did a video on. We got Polka Starter, we got Ocean Protocol. These are all things that they invested in. And here at the top is Exceed Me. So, and we also just see some general just media being created about this. Here's an article from the Daily Chain. But a lot of interesting people involved in this project, right? Nuno is is a powerful figure, I guess, in the crypto space already he created this you trust platform there are two nunos on this team which i think is also a good sign because it is 2020 it is good to have two of one thing i think at this time right so this other nuno is also right a big a billion plus in closing successful deal maker the token metrics are looking pretty good, but just like with any of these major projects there already is a ton of investment going in in the front, right, we see, we're seeing 875 k initial market cap, so almost a million put in there. Uh, and there's also almost almost a million in uh, seed and private sales. So these are all people that are going to be looking to, what can you say? The seed sale, the private sale, the public round, these are all prices that are much lower than the actual Uniswap listing price. So that is, again, a reason to be careful right at listing. Just saying. I know you've probably looked at some charts that go squirrel and then, and then, and then not financial advice, not financial advice. No, 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 no. They are going to be some uh, token release schedules. So not all of this is going to get dumped right at the top. And a lot of these funds will be going to support the dev team, which I find to be good because this obviously seems like a pretty complex layered product that's going to need some development. Exceed me. Exceed me. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just I'm going to ask the dev team. See, see, how, how do you actually say this name? It is an actually pretty large telegram group here. We already have over 2000 members. It is important to note here. We don't actually have a listing day or time or even ballpark here. We're hoping this token will be listed pretty soon because they are getting everybody pretty hyped up about it. The uh, the seed sale is over. No private sales started. So that's going to about do it for this episode uh, of Adapt Crypto. Thanks for watching. If you want to keep updated, if you want to hear about the launch, if you want to hear about a bunch of other awesome tokens that we're not talking about on YouTube, you got to get in the Telegram, you got to get in the Discord and help us out because we're a bunch of nice, actually kind people. Hit those links, check out the website, check out it all. And give us this thumbs up, dude. Like, come on. How hard is it to hit that thumbs up button? Like, it's not that hard. Just, just go down. You get your mouse. You're like, thumbs up. Thumbs up. I subscribe to this channel because I like this video. It was a good video. So that's what's going through your head right now. Um, so I am assuming you already clicked the like and subscribe and maybe even the bell notification, and uh, you'll have no problem catching us on the next video. <laughs> we'll catch you on the next video.